So we are hitting the road, we're going to Vegas, we're doing a road trip, we're heading out for the So You Think You Can Dance experience, and we're bringing London. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, with, even with our boy? Oh yeah, nothing's gonna happen in Vegas other than dirty diapers. Look at these, 30. Is that enough, do you think, for two days? Your two bags three, are so heavy. Yeah, and like two or three days, I think I have a whole suitcase just full of diapers. It's not like I can't go to the store. What am I doing? Yeah, Vegas has turned into a whole new meaning to us. It, <laughs> going on a road trip to Vegas does not mean, yeah, go to Vegas, party! It means, oh, going to Vegas. Okay, it's a lot of stuff to do before we go. Well, we're so used to being up here by our, together doing uh, road trips and talking business and, and doing stuff and singing songs and getting creative and uh -huh. I feel like I'm kind of ready to just go to sleep. I know. So we well, just, we're going to feed him anyway feed since him we got to rest up here. We can't chance it. Well, let's take, it's going to be a long time to get to Vegas. Well, should, and should I change his diaper right now? No, let me feed him and then I'll change it when we're done. Okay. This trip takes a long time, more yes. than what it's ever taken before. Yes. <laughs> we There was a day when we would go Vegas to LA three and a half hours. Yeah, we could jam it out in three and a half. And this trip with London is, Do yes, again? a long time, dog. <laughs> this trip with London is eight hours. Eight hours, so it's double what it normally takes, a little more than that. This is the first time. Oh yeah, the other times are for me. Yeah, no, we pulled over <laughs> more for Napoleon to pee than for this guy. This is the first time he's had to pull over, so he's been a champ. When you're driving with a kid, you can't just take him out of the seat while we're driving and mommy change him we and put him back in. Over. Or you have to pull over. So every time he has to eat, poop, pee, Guess we're who's pulling, pulling over. over. We're travelers. We always like to take road trips. When we hit the road, we listen to music. I think a lot of our good creative ideas come when we're driving. There's a So You Think You Can Dance event and uh, they asked us along with some of the other people from the show to come on out, the executive producers there. So we're now super late. It's taken us twice as long as we anticipated to get to Vegas. Let's go! I know, Daddy's anxious. He wants Let's to go! go. I'm exhausted because I haven't really slept much with London, but when you get into the room and you step on stage and you see everybody so excited to see you and welcome you, you're like, okay, let's get the let's get the day started. Let's have some fun. People come to the So You Think You Can Dance experience to get classes from us, to know what the show is about, to know what goes behind the scenes in the show, to meet the winners. At the So You Think You Can Dance experience, you also get a chance to audition like you were auditioning for the show, so you getting that experience prior to even going and auditioning for the show. We would, we would rather give you something that um, you could take away and work on to get better than something maybe uh, comes easy and you don't feel like you're learning anything. And I told this into the seniors class as well, Class is for learning, not for being perfect. So let, we, we have to stop putting those expectations on ourselves when we come in. If, and then sometimes that allows you to even do better because you don't put that pressure on yourself. Like, oh my God, I have to be perfect. No, you're just learning. That's what will help you, you know, I think grow and be better as a dancer or a teacher or whatever it is. All right, are we ready to try it? Five, six, seven. Yeah. We run a mock audition to give the people who sign up for this event the experience as if they were auditioning for So You Think You Can Dance. So it's fun. And that's when we leave London because our day begins. We've taught at dance conventions for many, many, many years, but we've never had a baby with us, obviously. So having London there is this whole new thing. We are run literally teaching class. Thank you, thank you, okay, gotta go and then run outside, check on London, feed London, still while we're preparing for the next class, which happens in another hour.
it's chaos. So our manager, which is Cindy, we flew her in because she's <laughs> gonna be actually manning the booth to sell our clothes, and while we're teaching, also babysitting London. So it, she's got double duty. The, the odd thing for us now, having a baby, is that we can no longer be those people that just sit there and, and talk to people. So when we're done working, instead of sitting there and, and having time with all these fans, we're trying to rush out to get back to the booth to talk to London, to see if he's hungry or to make sure everything was okay. And, uh, and I feel like that you can plan all you want, but you never know. And we're finding that out this weekend. The So You Think You Can Dance experience has become the Nappy Tad's experience. Experiencing that Vegas is not what it used to be. Work, work, work. I need a vacation from our weekend Vegas. in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. And not because I'm hungover, because I'm sleep deprived. It was nice being with in front of people again in that big convention feel and, and fans who, who are so nice to you. But in all honesty, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of not sleeping, especially for you. It was a lot of not meeting up with the other choreographers to hang out and do dinners and do the parties and go to the tables. It was, uh, it was being it a was mom work. and dad. It was a being a mom and dad and working. Bye-bye. That's the face I love. See you in a couple hours. Bye, Aunt Cindy. Hi. Hi. Are you crying again? Yes. How come you're crying so much? What you crying about, honey? No, you know what it is. I know. I just hate leaving you. Hey, everybody. Comment below. If you leave some comments and give us your advice, we might learn a few things. And if you like the show, please let me know. My mom and dad are working really, really hard to do this show. And they're, 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 they love me. <laughs> Go behind the scenes of the So You Think You Can Dance season finale with Nappy Tabs and their cute new helper, Baby London. Meet the women of CrossFit Dynamics and get ready for a whole new kind of girl power. Can a model train like an NFL player? Find out on Woman vs. Workout. This total body workout can be done anywhere, anytime. All you need is a little muscle. Click subscribe for more free 3V.